so the the news related to this actually is about the new batteries that are confirmed for what Tesla are calling medium range EVs that they're going to be starting to make in Europe. So Tim, if you want to pull up the article there, there was an Which electric one, one here about Elon on Twitter confirming that the new structural battery thing, if you remember gotcha. back to battery day, they're no longer yep. going to have like a battery pack. It's basically going to be a part of the car, which yep. requires this new casting um, thing that they're doing. Uh, that They're going to be doing that at Giga Berlin. And this is where the first car that's going to have these new uh, 4680, I think they're calling themselves, uh, are going to be in there. And the thing about that that's interesting is they're, I believe, going to be using the lithium iron phosphate batteries i think there is it the lfp is that right and with that the cost should go down but also the range is going to go down so what you're looking at are cheaper but lower range which to me says robo taxi is what that says mm -hmm. it doesn't say so kind of what you guys are saying here about oh yeah you know we should have done these other business models first instead so i think I think that is where this is this is headed, but this was some kind of interesting news when Elon was basically confirming that that's what's going to be going on with the Model Ys and stuff in Giga Berlin. Yeah, and this whole monocoque type design where the the battery is integral structure to the vehicle reminds me a lot of like uh, I I got schooled on Twitter because I, I said that it reminds me in the two thousands motorcycle companies production wise started taking. Instead of you know having a, a motorcycle frame, especially on sport bikes, and then hanging an engine inside that frame, instead they literally started bolting like the swing arm and the the uh, the triple tree, like the 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 main part of you know your your front forks, literally just strapping that onto the engine. So the engine became an integral part of the structure of the vehicle. And this reminds me of that, but then someone was like, "Oh, this is actually like the 1960s. What Lotus started doing? They started bolting." And for their F1 cars, bolting suspension and the chassis to the engine, like directly. And the engine became part of the the structure. And, yeah. and so it's nothing new at all, really. But it's it's cool to see it now being utilized at this level again. Um, you know, it sounds like most of this car is going to be like what we're seeing on screen right now. The, the floor pan and the main chassis of the Model Y is literally going to be three parts, basically all stamped from single pieces of aluminum and then just the battery module holds the the two main the front and the back together um yeah that's a pretty big upgrade i think as far as manufacturability too yeah and and, and again it's the 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 thing that really stood out to me was the the lithium iron phosphate batteries being used in what he called medium range evs which i think it's it alludes to that twenty five thousand dollar one that they that they announced or you know mentioned i guess i'll say because there really wasn't much of an announcement and and that all leads to robo taxi stuff where the robo taxi model would be perfect for what we're talking about here of the thing doesn't necessarily need to go 300 miles it needs to go 100 miles and quick charge and be cheap mm -hmm. so if you can put different batteries in it that only if, if the thing only goes 120 130 miles that's fine it can go run around do some trips come back charge up quick boom be back out there it doesn't need to be this road tripping vehicle that we would want as consumers if all it's doing is driving around london or something like that so i think right. i think like i don't know we're getting more details of how that how they're going to get from where they are now and what we get as consumers to this future state where it's like less of an ownership model, more of a, an Uber type model, for lack of a better term, I guess, ride sharing. Right. Term. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.